What is the world's most evil company and why? I don't like Manulife Financial after I spent a few months being a pregnancy relief receptionist at death and disability claims in the 90s. It was not good. Everything you might suspect about insurance is true. It's ugly and vile and inhuman and absurd. When I left it was before my contract was up, with a stolen file, and with a threat to the manager that if this dude, whose file I'd pilfered, didn't call me with the news money was in his account by 7pm, I'd take all of this crap to the media. John, I'll always remember you, the accident that destroyed your wrist and the mine, the one that was covered, the helicopter ride to the local major metropolitan hospital to fix it, the car accident with a moose two months later that bent the metal pins to a 90 degree angle, and the fact MF said they wouldn't cover this new helicopter ride because they'd already paid for a helicopter ride, the part where we forced you to prove you were disabled every month for $75 a pop, until we changed the number on the form and didn't let you know, and you called. A 55 year minor weeping because his 16 year daughter stopped eating lunch and you didn't have another $75, you'd filled out the form we sent you, but it was wrong before it arrived. So you called and said you were headed out to the wood shack and would just take the frickin hand off at the wrist. So I did what I did, and you had the disability payment you had bought and were owed by the time we spoke that evening. I never went back. And when my placement agency called and tried to upbraid me for unprofessional behavior I told them to never ever send me to a company that was actively ripping off and trying to kill their clients. I worked for Blue Cross for about 6 months and then I found out they had a coverage denial group. They looked for any and every way to deny large claims. So mostly people in traumatic and catastrophic situations and cancers. They touted themselves as being non-profit while the CEO made millions a year and came to the office in a fricking helicopter. Frick health insurance companies. The three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. Your ability to get loans for cars, houses, etc. Depends on your credit history they collect, but they are notorious for having mistakes as a result of fraud or otherwise, and customer service that's so terrible that it is sometimes impossible to correct mistakes in your credit history record. Plus, in 2017, Equifax had the personal information data breach that included social security numbers and is the reason it's recommended that you get your credit history frozen. Now, if you want to apply for a loan, you have to go through the hassle of unfreezing your credit history first at all three credit bureaus. At one time, they charge you to do this. I'm not sure if it's true, but I heard that each company has stakes in the other two. So, they were are basically trying to financially benefit from the data breach. I don't use the word hate very much, but the fact that Equifax still exists after that is criminal. Pretty much every adult in the United States had all of their info leaked. Most fast fashion brands, child labor, wasting horrible amount of water while polluting it, burning or throwing the unsold clothes into the ocean etc. I can't help but thinking that all mainstream products in the world are built on top of suffering, and that anything remotely ethical is just extremely expensive and scarce. Lots of good examples here. Find it interesting that nobody mentioned McKinsey, which advises most of these firms on their corporate strategy. All the companies who are gobbling up real estate so they can rent the houses out for insane rates while also neglecting their landlord responsibilities. Let's look at what happened with Zillow last week. Bought 6000 houses by paying too much for them. It's probably some little known company that isn't high profile but is basically pure slavery while supplying the bigger companies that we actually know about. I'd also nominate security contractor companies that supply death squads and death squad training to dictators around the world. What they do is often technically illegal in the countries they are based in, but enforcement just doesn't happen as long as they are assisting governments their home government supports. Nestle, literally trying to steal all water and sell it back at a huge profit, along with basically owning slaves they are just straight up evil. My grandma brings up Facebook two or three times every time we talk. Facebook has made a captive audience of the elderly. They got on FB to keep up with family and instead are being blasted all day long with a personalized stream of propaganda. Shell is about to start blasting the wild coast of South Africa to find oil. It's during whale migration season as well. Every 30 seconds, 
24 hours a day for 6 months they will blast sound waves at the ocean floor. The ocean wildlife is going to be destroyed. Alternative story about Shell. Google Shell Nigeria oil spill. And while you are at it, also Google Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. That is maybe the most evil crap I have ever read. Cargill is pretty underestimated. They engage in child slavery. They sold poison seeds in Iraq that killed hundreds of people. And they sometimes sell infected meat. It also is really intransparent, as it is not publicly traded. Nestle. Forget the CEO saying water isn't a right. They own their part of their workforce and have been called out on it repeatedly. There has been article after article written about this. A few years ago, they even released a fancy infographic explaining how they were trying to reduce the use of slave labor. Nestle chocolate is slave chocolate. If you are put on their fishing boats or cocoa plantations, you're finished. You are a line item on a sheet and worked with no pay or benefits and just enough food to keep you alive. If you break, you are discarded and left to die. If you are on a fishing boat and get hurt or sick, you'll just be tossed overboard in the ocean. Think about this the next time you see the quick rabbit or pick up a Nestle Crunch bar. People don't want to think about this. It's too uncomfortable and inconvenient for us. As long as we don't have to see where most of the things we buy come from we just keep consuming. Someone in another post got downvoted into oblivion for stating this. No one likes to hear the truth. So like all you guys are going on about Nestle but have you ever heard about Cargill? Cargill makes Nestle look like a good guy in comparison. This company has the power to single-handedly eradicate hunger and deforestation but chooses not to so that food is a scarce commodity making it a marketable object. They also control are directly involved in something like 90% of every agricultural good you interact with daily. Clothes on your back, food for breakfast, lunch, dinner, blankets you keep yourself warm with, etc. And they are privately held, so no one really has much visibility into what happens in there. Facebook. They knowingly created an algorithm that boosted content with angry reactions, which in turn disseminated misinformation that has cost lives, and created divisions between people, our friends and family. Whatever controversial view Uncle Bob held is being shoved right in our faces. They have perpetuated the process of dividing us between young and old, rich and poor, black and white, left and right liberal and conservative, and they did it all because more clicks equals more money in their pockets. Frick Facebook. I'd like to put East India Company into the list, responsible for approximately 20-30 million deaths by forcing farmers to grow cash crops instead of food. They legit increased the taxes on farmers during a famine so that the famine wouldn't hurt their bottom line. You're probably referring to the English-British company, but the Dutch original also deserves to be on the list. Cheron Pockfund Group. They treat their workers like slaves. Tens of thousands of workers have to work 10 hours a day, 6 days a week for 10,000 baht a month. 304 US dollars. Their 13. 000711 stores are one of the largest contributors of plastic waste in Asia. They sell cheap cigarettes and high content alcohol all over Thailand with no regard for the social consequences. This company is a disgrace and has no corporate responsibility. The Cargill Corporation. It's a privately owned agribusiness that runs almost everything food related. Meat for McDonald's, Cargill, feed corn, Cargill, cacao beans for Nestle produced using child slavery, Cargill. There's a serious case to be made that Cargill and Cargill owned companies are the largest single consumer of slave labor ever. They're also the absolute worst for the environment and for foreign economies. If this picks up steam I'll go hunt down the report which lists a bunch of their crimes and edit a link in. Acme Corporation. Their products are dangerous and hard to use, and never seem to work correctly, causing numerous injuries and accidents. Found while, e, Coyote's Reddit account. Bayer. They used human blood to make a blood clotting medicine. Then, as the AIDS crisis started becoming more of a thing the US started mandating that companies test products like that for HIV. Turns out that almost all of their stock contained HIV and had a good likelihood of giving people who took it AIDS. So they sold it in the third world where testing wasn't mandated, mostly in Asia and Latin America. Result was a giant surge in AIDS in those places. 
They literally sold medicine they knew would kill people. Citadel Securities for shorting and syllaboxing many businesses and medical companies because curing cancer is not a sustainable business model. This right here needs to get more visibility. Seems like they've been actively and knowingly undermining countless businesses. De Beers. From slave labor to artificial scarcity that creates insane prices, diamonds are just a nasty business in so many ways. Russia has thousands of tons of cut diamonds just sitting in vaults in case it wants to cause global mayhem. Diamonds are very common. They are all becoming evil. Right to repair laws are needed ASAP, and not just for one segment. A law that goes across the board on anything and everything sold. I want to be able to repair what I buy at a fair and reasonable price without the manufacturer stepping in otherwise. Software locking components now to prevent home repairs? Just how low can a company go to steal your money? Citadel Securities. They and their ilk have fleeced generations of people out of their wealth via high frequency trading, dark pools, pump and dumps, and what could be called legal tax evasion and so defrauded our very economy and nation. Their practices have invalidated securities trading on fundamentals, and decoupled real world value from derivative speculation. Their manipulation currently has a stranglehold on American investment. Joe Gantzer, Cognito Inc. They run the shadow government and tried to replace the president with robot. Serious answer, Walmart. They have dedicated themselves to hurting small businesses, small towns, and creating multi-generational poverty all in the name of profit for the Walton family who spends all their time in their three heavily fortified mansions. Amazon isn't too far off, but Walmart has the time and history behind them. Here's an upvote for both of her answers but tbh mainly the inside job reference. Oh man, there is stiff competition for that title. I think it's reached a point where, if you scratch the surface on any of the major multinationals, you just find an endless chain of human misery and super fun sights. All that said, I'm going to say Bayer. Here's a quick rundown of what Bayer has done in their 158 year history. Created chemical weapons for the Nazis. Used Nazi concentration camps for slave labor. Conducted human experiments for the Nazis. Invented and widely distributed H. Sold HIV contaminated blood clotting drugs during the AIDS crisis. Has invented distributed, or otherwise utilized dozens of pesticides that have caused birth defects and various kinds of cancer pretty much for the entire 20th century, invented the completely unsubstantiated fiction that regularly taking aspirin can somehow prevent heart attacks and strokes, a lie that still persists to this day. Freaking ticket master, convenience fee, for using your website or app? Pre-sale blocks of tickets to yourself to scalp sold out shows on your vertically integrated stub hub and seat geek. Sweet. Thanks coxsuckers. It's not like I was waiting 20 years to finally see Radiohead. A honorable mention to those water grabbing fricks at Nestle. And Zuckerberg can lick each of my testicles. Individually. Walmart. They drove down prices their suppliers can charge them. And this results in poorer quality items pretty sure it's harmful to the suppliers as well. On the flip side, I used to work for a company that manufactures goods in China. Walmart was the only company that audited the factories to make sure workers were not slaves and had appropriate living conditions. We sold to all big box stores and Walmart was the only one to actually send a person and investigate. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.